Thank you for joining me today. I thought it'd be fun we take a good look at Transformers Generation Legacy Prime Universe Bulkhead. So let's bring him up close. And we can see that we do not have a plastic window, but it gives us a better opportunity to take a look at Bulkhead. And I do like the head sculpt so far. And here we have like a military vehicle mode for Bulkhead. Here on the side of the box does give us some nice product images of Bulkhead himself. Here on the back of the packaging says we can convert him into 30 steps. Here on the side of this packaging, we have the promotion art for Legacy. So let's get Bulkhead out of packaging. Okay. Ooh, things fell out. And you know what we say? Goodbye, box. We have instructions. That's fun. And let's see. Here we have Bulkhead. Anything sneaky here in the back of the packaging nope we have everything we need right up front so let's free him from packaging and here we have bulkhead out of packaging and i'm a transformers prime fan and it's a shame that i'm seeing bulkhead like this because the head sculpt i'm gonna have to say right now the head sculpt to me is a little spot on it's somewhat like a bulkhead but not 100 percent but it's there. Uh, I love the blue eyes. I love this silver that we have. Um, this transparent blue, I wish it wasn't there. I mean, I do appreciate the paint that we're going all around, uh, especially the windshield wipers. That's really nice. I love the Autobot symbol that we have right there. Um, pretty much everything else is him is green, either silver paint, uh, black, that's pretty much about it. We have accessories for his back there. Um, but first, let's take a look at articulation. His head can move left to right. It can get a little bit of wibbly wobbly. We can look up and down type of situation. Uh, see, the arms are, can rotate 360. You can bring them out that far. There is a elbow joint. There's also a bicep swivel. He does have wrist articulation, so that is really nice. He does have a waist swivel. So, 360. He can bring his leg back that far. He can bring his leg up. It's about that high. Let's see, bend at the knee. Let's see, that's, that's not bad. Not bad at all. And let's see, ankle articulation. That's not bad. Oh, oh, okay. Now we're talking. I like that. So to me, I think you get Bulkhead in some really good some um, poses there. Even though I don't feel like he's 100% bulkhead, I feel like he's 25% bulkhead, 75% hound from Transformers, uh, the Michael Bay universe. Bulkhead's accessories, especially the shield, I really like because what you can do is push this black piece in that we have right here. So if you just push that in like that, and if we come here to the side where there is a hole that we can actually plug this into. Let's see, there we go. And we just kind of turn right there, place his head. So now he's, a sh he's holding a shield and that is really cool. I am loving that. So that is a fun option. Or if you just you know, push it right back, come to the back here and place it onto his back and now he can have a shield on his back if you want to i like the options i think that is really cool i'm loving this figure so far even though it's not bulkhead to me he does come with this awesome looking gun this transparent blue but i like how they painted it uh this to me i really like this um you can actually have it plug into his hand so he can have a little small... To me, this will be like a pistol to him. Or, 
one of the fun things you could do since on either side there is a peg and on i'm just going to remove this here on the side by the tires we can actually let's see if we get that we can actually plug that in right into the side there and now bulkhead has a gatling gun onto his sides i like that that is being really creative and let's get that shield on the back going on there we go and one other accessory his hammer or at least i like to call it his hammer so we do have a peg we have right there and we're just going to fit it right within his hand and then we're just going to do close that up and now bulkhead has his hammer out and i am like <sighs> I am enjoying this. This is this is a fun figure. I am really enjoying it. It is a lot of fun. To transform Bulkhead. Let's bring up his arms. There we go. Let's come here to the underside and bring this out. So we can actually come here to the side and pop his shoulders out. So let's do that here on the other side. There we go. So now we can bring this down. There we go. So once we have that in, we want to take the head. Oh dear. Take the head, push that down. Take this piece in here, and we want to push that up. So now what we can do is come in. And we want to bring the arms together. Come on. There we go. So now, with everything we have here, things... Come on. There we go. And come on. There we go. So once we have this all out, now we can come back here to the elbows for the hands so we can push them all in. And there we go. We have that done. We can now take this, place it right there. We want to bring the legs out just like this. So we have something going on just like that. And we're actually going to open this compartment so we can bring this out. So what we're going to do, this right here, We'll plug right into there. So what we're going to do, bend at the knee. And we want to bring this out. And we're just going to let's actually close that up. And there we go. That's plugged in. Bring the foot up. There we go. And let's open this up. We want to bring it. Come on. I have no nails. There we go. So once we have that, bring this out, fold that, so now we can bend at the knee. So we can get that in on the side, bring that foot up, there we go, and close that in. So we can now bring the legs together. Okay, there we go. And now what we want to do is just collapse everything up. But we have these holes and we have those pegs. So we just want to, oh, and also let's make sure that those tires are out of the way. So now we can close up on all that. There we go. And now with the canopy, we just bring those down. Actually, hold on, because we have pegs. Well, not pegs, we have holes here on the side. There is the pegs that we have. And now we just fold those. And what we just do, Close them in, and there we go. And now we have Bulkhead, fully transformed into his military truck mode. And I have to say, the rolling to this is pretty nice. Um, I mean, I like the canopy uh, function and how they're hiding the shield like that, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, but there is weapon storage, so what we're going to do we're just going to remove the canopy up here just real quickly 
Come on. There we go. All right. So we have a hole here. And what we're going to do, we're going to place it within that peg. Okay, there we go. Now with this hammer, we have a hole right there. And we have a peg. So we're just going to place it in just like that. And now, let's come here and close up everything. You can almost barely see everything in there. But that is the weapon storage that we have. And let me just say, that is beautiful. I love that. That weapon storage is just, that is just awesome. I love it. To transform Bulkhead back into his robot mode, we actually want to come here to the canopy. We just want to open that up. We actually want to bring that out, extend everything out, and let's spread away from the feet. So what we can come and do is open this up so we can get that out of the way. There we go. So we can take this container and sneak it back in there. Flip that closed. And let's bring out that foot. There we go. So let's come here to the side and pop that out. Bring out the, down the leg. Okay, pop this open. And we're going to sneak that right inside. I want to close up. And let's get that foot. Yay! We're almost there. So this will snap into place. That will snap back into place. So now what we can do, lift this up. Let's get his arms out. Straighten them. And let's bend them out. There we go. All right, now push the roof down into there so we can bring out the head. Once we have those tires pushed up, now we can get the arms, get those up, and we can actually now plug them onto the side. So there is that hole that we have. So we'll just bring out the arms and we're just gonna click that into place. And now the rest of Bulkhead's head should be popping out. There we go. And now get this over. Get that into place. And now, and here we have Bulkhead back into his robot mode. My final thoughts are this Bulkhead figure is not a bad figure. He is, a, I'm, I'm telling you, he's an amazing figure. Uh, the, the play value out of this guy, he's, he's fun. Transformation, not so much, but that's okay because it's not really difficult. It just takes a little bit longer. But I definitely say if you just want to have a fun figure that wants to wreck and rule, then Bulkhead is your figure. I do have a spot on my shelf for him because he's going to be part of a different universe of my wreckers. So I do, for me, is very much shelf worthy. Well, with that said, I just have to thank you all for watching. If you can just do me a favor and just hit the like and subscribe button down below, let me know in the comments if you think he's shelf worthy. And until next time, you'll be hearing me in the next video. Everybody have a great day!